So right now, administrators have permission to bypass Honeypot, but anonymous users don't. So let's look at a personal contact form as an anonymous user and see what Honeypot is doing to it. So let's find a link to a contact form. I'm going to go to People, and then I'll go to Sandra and Contact. And I'll copy the URL and go to our incognito page and paste in the URL. Okay, here we go. So even though we don't see a URL input here, if we looked at the source code, we would. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to right click on this element and click inspect. Now we're looking at the HTML right here, which might be a little advanced depending on what your experience is. All I want to demonstrate here is how to verify that Honeypot is working for this form. So we have several inputs. I'm going to keep scrolling down. You can see that Honeypot time is added here. So that's not what we're interested in. If we keep going down, we have the edit actions, and then we have URL text field. If we expand this and expand the div, we'll see the label and the input. So this stands a chance of being filled out by bots and getting blocked. So we know that it's working for this form. Let's check out the time gate feature. Let's see if we can fill out this form in five seconds or less. Ah, okay, it says there was a problem with your form submission. Please wait six seconds and try again. So time gate is working as well. So this is a good transparent first line of defense for your public facing forms, but most likely it's not going to be enough. So next, let's look at adding a CAPTCHA to our form. 